Hey, fellow Schneider drivers. Um, yeah, I made kind of a dumb mistake today, and I don't want anybody else to make this dumb mistake, so I decided to make a video on it. Uh, I'm here at the pilot in French Camp, and as many of you know, uh, this pilot is always full. It's always full. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. It's always full. There's no parking. Uh, I wish they'd build another truck stop around here, but this is what we have, so it's always full. And uh, I'm parked. I'm doing a 34-hour restart. Well, uh, I'm, I'm bobtail, so I'm parked in a spot because there's nowhere else to park. And uh, a, uh, another Schneider driver came up and said, uh, hey man, uh, he's like, what time are you leaving tomorrow in the morning? I said, I'm leaving at 5. He said, can I, can I park behind you? And I said, yeah man, sure. Didn't even think about it. So I moved my truck forward about 20 feet to let this driver in. I let him in and I went back and he's snug in there, I'm in there. Uh, and uh, my EDL, ELD, recorded that as drive time. Okay, that that uh, 20 feet of movement, even though I didn't get over five miles an hour, it recorded it as drive time. So, I called Schneider, I said, I moved the truck 20 feet to help another Schneider driver, and they said, that's, that's unfortunate because you moved the truck. And I said, well, I was helping out a Schneider driver, I'm just trying to do what's good for the, it doesn't matter. You move the truck, that's move, that's drive time. Now you're gonna have to sit for another an entire another day. Um, so I went from sitting for 34 hours to sitting for, uh, I don't know, 48, 56 hours, I don't know. So don't make dumb mistakes. If you are on a 34 hour restart, do not move the truck even if, don't move the truck. I mean, that's it, you know, if another driver can't get out of their spot, you have to tell them, hey, that's tough, I can't move the truck, I can't move, so I'm stuck, you're stuck, we're all stuck, um, yeah, it was, a, you know, it, it was a mistake on my part, but at the same time, these ELDs offer no flexibility. My initial response was, hey, uh, you know, I moved the truck. I moved the truck 20 feet. It was less than, I think it was like nine seconds of drive time. Can I just do an e, uh, a paper log for this day? I mean, I'm literally sitting all day. I mean, nope, can't do that. You told me you moved the truck. No, I can't, can't do that. So uh, yeah, do not move your truck even a foot if you're on a restart. Don't do it. These ELDs are non-forgiving. Uh, Schneider is very strict about that stuff, you know, and I, you know, I get it, you know, I'm not saying that they're, I'm not saying anything negative about Schneider for doing what they do, uh, but just be aware that you don't always have to get up to five miles an hour, you don't have, it doesn't matter the distance, um, I got drive time, if the, the truck says you drove, you drove, and that's all there is to it. So, hopefully my mistake and my video helps someone else not make that mistake. Do not move the truck at all. That being said, Friendly Bill, sitting for another day, what should I do? Hmm, well, you know, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got kind of a nice suntan here. Might, some might say it's a sunburn. But what I'm going to do with my extra time is I'm going to go for a super long walk. I'm going to go for a walk, I'm going to get some exercise, I'm going to enjoy the natural beauty of Central California. I am going to use this time to some benefit. Uh, I'm not just going to sit in the truck and grumble and, and be angry. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to try to make the best out of this situation. Whew! Do not move the truck. Do not move the truck. Should be, maybe I should, I'd make myself a little sign. A little sticky note. Do not move the truck. So, that being said, uh, I do like talking to Schneider drivers. I do like helping Schneider drivers. I like when Schneider drivers help me. You know, I think we should all try to help each other. And I try to help other truck drivers too. I've, you know, I've had some uh, older guys who uh, who can't do something a uh, physical aspect of their job. I've done it for them. You know. 
bad one driver. He, he was having trouble hooking up. He couldn't hook up. He was probably in his 70s. And uh, the uh, trailer was too low. He couldn't get under it. And he was too old to crank it. And he's like, hey, man. He's like, oh, oh you know. He was, he was embarrassed that he had to ask. But I, I was like, yeah, man. I jumped out. I cranked it up for him. He got on his way. I had another driver uh, who was walking with a cane. And uh, we were at a shipper, and um, he had some load locks and stuff in the back of his truck, and they told him that he had to get those load locks out of there or else they weren't going to load them. This guy had a cane. I could tell it was going to be difficult for him to climb up in there and do that. So I was like, hey, man. I was like, oh, you know, let me grab that for you. I jump up there and grab those out of there. That's just the kind of driver I am, you know. Because uh, I'm going to be old someday. I may still be driving a truck. And uh, I may need some young, uh, healthy person to help me out. Hopefully they will. Um, yeah, I respect your elders, you know. My dad is uh, 85. Uh, my mom has passed away recently. Um, you know, respect your elders. Help them out. Listen to them. You know, they are a wealth of information. Uh, they, they've lived uh, twice, three times as much as we have. They do have a great information, you know. Respect your elders, help them out. Uh, but yeah, back to the, the subject at hand. Do not move the truck. If you have any comments or anything, shoot them later.